Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the side effects of extreme weight loss that I didn't think about before losing 75 pounds. Maybe you didn't think about it either. So I figured, why not talk about it? Now, I know. I warned y'all. I'm in a new area. Because I'm with my mama. She's right over there. She's waving at y'all. She did like this. She's cute. She's my personal audience, so if you hear giggles, I have a live studio audience today, everybody. And my live studio audience has pen and paper. So I actually wrote stuff down. I know, shocker. Don't, don't get used to it. But here we go. So, first things first. Oh, I have forgotten to introduce my special guest. She is also my director. I have Grogu and Natalie. Do you recognize this little alligator? It is for the room. They have a playroom here, my nieces. And she bought this, and my mom thought it was really cute, which it is. It's a little alligator. Look how cute. Because they're in Louisiana, where they have alligators. Actually, that's the name of y'all's mascot, is Alligator, for their company. Not meaning to plug their company, but, you know, Cajun Candle Supplies, go check it out. All right, so extreme weight loss changes. So let's start with what prompted me to do this video to begin with. I came to Louisiana and I hadn't driven anywhere that was more than like five minutes away in a year. So I got in my car and I put on my seatbelt and I started driving and I noticed a couple of things. One, I'm, my belly wasn't right up against the steering wheel anymore. And I had more motion, and at first I thought, maybe I was too far back and I needed to move closer. But I didn't, because my legs didn't change size. They still just as long as they were before. Just my belly changed size. And then, as I'm driving, my seatbelt kept, kept creeping up on my neck. And I'm like, why is my seatbelt up? So I used to be able to put my seatbelt here. And the here has disappearing. And now, it just... This goes right up on my on my on my neck. So be aware that your car may not fit. Now, normally, most of you I think have a slow progression, so you don't notice it. But when you go from driving five minutes to a year later and 75 pounds down, oh, see, so mom's gonna be mad because she wanted to put them outside. Pause the video. Alright, and we're back. Sorry, we got three dogs, and they don't like Barnum. They don't think he's cute or funny. I think he is. They they don't like him. They don't like their nephew. They think he's a hot mess, which he kind of is. So, yeah, just basic changes in the car where I wasn't thinking about how my upper body had changed so much that I wouldn't be able to sit in my car anymore. So that's one thing to just realize is that your body will make those types of changes and all of a sudden your seatbelt will be up against your neck instead of where it should normally lay. Um, there are some bigger issues that happen for a lot of people. I haven't had as many problems with that maybe as some others have, but a lot of people who have an extreme weight loss lose hair. And this is whether you're on keto or any kind of weight loss journey. Again, I just appreciate you being here. You don't have to do what I do. That's not important to me. That's important to you. So whichever one you're doing, just know if you do lose a lot of weight in a, in a fairly quickly manner, in a fairly quickly? In a, anyway, if you lose weight really quickly, you may have some hair loss. Um, also, muscle loss would go with that. Uh, a lot of people will lose a lot of weight, but a lot of that is muscle, which the muscle helps burn calories. So you want to keep as much of that muscle mass as you can. And for me, on keto, that's partly making sure I'm getting enough protein. As you know, keto is a high fat diet. I've recently adapted to more of a high protein diet because I feel like that is helping me feel better. And it's helping me in my workouts that I've started doing this month. Don't get crazy. All I do is bounce on a trampoline. But still, it's more than the nothing that I was doing before. And I'm doing that to make sure that now that I'm on my second half of my big weight loss, that hopefully I'll be able to retain some of that muscle mass. Um, then a few other things, just as an example, is clothing, obviously. You, my, 
Can y'all see my fancy shirt? I think this shirt fits. My mom still says it's too big, and this is one of my newer, smaller size ones. So your clothes, you have to get new clothes. But here's the trick. You don't have no idea what size you are. Because in your head, you're, you're big. And then, but you're not. You lost 75 pounds, Misty. You're not big. But in my brain, I'm like, I'm still big. My clothes shouldn't be too tight to my body. But you're going to have to get new clothes. Or you can try to pull it off as long as I have. <laughs> <laughs> with them old clothes um we may be i may be trying to purge here coming up it's making me stressful we're not going to talk about it we're just going to keep moving on uh so some other things oh you know, one thing that i didn't expect as well was my shoes don't fit they fit but they don't fit the way they used to fit they don't fit comfortably because i mean spoiler alert i wear crocs and only crocs that's all that I wear. I have boots, I have shoes, I have slip-ons, I have all different kinds, but I only wear Crocs, so I don't have to go in and try them on. I know what size I wear. But now they don't, they don't fit the same because my foot is not as wide because it's not as fat. Did you know that your feet had fat? They do. <laughs> Evidently your feet have fat on them. Your rings, your rings may not fit. So if you're married and you have a wedding ring that you've been wearing for a long time and you all of a sudden lose weight, that ring may not fit anymore. And and you don't think about, most people when they go into it, they're just like, I'm going to get skinny. Yeah, you're going to get skinny and you're not going to fit in your car and your clothes aren't going to fit and your shoes are going to fall off, your ring, your jewelry isn't right. So just not, don't, don't not do it. Just be prepared. Um, let's see, a few other notes here. Loose skin. Loose skin. I'm going to, if you don't want to see loose skin, look away. Look away, everybody. This is your warning. I'm about to show you some loose skin. This right here. This used to be fat in there. So am I glad that I lost it? Uh-huh. Do I wear sleeves so that it doesn't just dangle? Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's not the only place that the loose skin occurs. There's some places that you would not have thought you could have loose skin, but you can. Most commonly in your arms, in your, in your belly. Um, for women like me, I've lost a lot up top, which I thought I would never be able to do, which for me is a good marker of the keto diet actually burning fat. Because all of my heavy fat storage locations <laughs> have decreased <laughs> dramatically over the last year um and with that comes a bit of that that I've talked about identity crisis where you've been maybe not you but me you've been the size you are probably for a while or maybe you've yo-yo dieted and gone back and forth and back and forth but ultimately you're used to your body and I don't hey Barnum I don't know my body anymore it's not, I, it is still mine, let me not, it is mine, but I, who, who is that person? I scared myself, I was scared of my own shadow. Can you believe that? I thought somebody was coming up behind me. It, they weren't, it was me, but I was, I was smaller. So I didn't recognize my own shadow. So that should have been on the list. You might not recognize your own shadow. I know some of you have been doing this, you've lost a lot of weight, you walk in by a reflection and you do that double take, oh that's me, that's me in that, look at me, look at me in that window, <laughs> look at me in the window, but you don't recognize yourself anymore and so for some of you that's very exciting and you are so happy and for me I'm like who is that person I don't know her, we need to go back, we need to go back to the person that we were. Because I feel like I don't fit in my own body. And so my mom called out something last night that made so much sense. I told her, I was like, Mom, I feel weird. Like I don't fit in my own body. Like I don't move the same. I don't walk the same. And she's like, oh no, you still walk like a fat girl. I was like, 
Okay. One, rude. <laughs> and two, what do you mean I walk like a fat girl? She's like, you, you, you walk like this. Because my legs were big and they weren't so close together as they are now. And I'm still walking with my legs like they don't have room to close. So I'm literally, quite literally, in a smaller body, walking the way I walked when I was 330 pounds. And I need to change that. Mentality, anyway. Like, I'm going to keep losing weight. We've already discussed this. We're going under 250. We're going to keep going. I don't know how small I'm going to be. My body's going to have to tell me. Because I have not been this small we figured it out in the last seven years. I haven't been smaller than 230, 20 plus, easy. So this is the body I know, not this one, that one. That one's the body I know, that one's the body I feel comfortable in. And now I have to get into this body. So I'm gonna insert a clip really quick of showing you how I, how I sit, because, uh, Shocker. So we're just going to show you that right now. So everybody, look at, watch. Are you, are you looking? Here's, here's an example. You sit down and you cross your legs, right? But when you're big, they barely fit and you let me fall and you be trying and you're using your other leg to pick up your own leg and you're trying to find a comfortable way to sit. You normally just end up sitting like, watch, watch what I did. I did like this as a joke. Look, look at that. Look at that. I can do it on the other leg too, watch. Who knew you could sit like that? You can sit like a girl. I didn't know I could sit like that. It's comfortable. I gotta say, I understand why y'all do it. It's pretty comfortable. So, all right, back to the video. So right, who knew, who knew I could sit like that? Who knew I could sit like a girl? I could sit like a girl. I mean, I know that's, that's sexist. But y'all, y'all, y'all feel me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What? Excuse me, Brian. I got a dog behind me. But what? I'm just even going to do it while, look at my, my legs. Just, I can just cross them. Not none of that crazy stuff. So, keep feeling I'm hiding everybody. Hey. So, just a few things to think about when you're losing weight. Your body is going to change, which can cause hair loss. Muscle loss can cause your clothes not to fit. You don't fit right in your car. I didn't know how to sit. I always felt like I was sitting strange. Felt like I was walking strange. And it turns out it was because I was. But I've been alone in my house <laughs> for a year. So I didn't notice. And my mom could instantly see it. So I've been practicing walking like I'm a model. <laughs> I've been a model. I was three. But, I mean, I was one once. So don't come for me. I know how to do it. But I can't. I kept almost falling over. So I'm going to be learning to walk while I'm here with my mom. <laughs> and it's just things that I never expected or thought about when I started this path. So I thought, you know. Why not share? Because that's what we like to do here is share and let you know how things are going with me. Things that you can expect or maybe not to expect on any particular journey. So like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you know how. Comment down below. What's the strangest thing or the most unexpected that, thing that you have found in your journey of weight loss. I know some of you are, are more into maintenance and you didn't have as much to lose or you're just doing it just to feel better and not really to lose weight again. All that's perfectly fine. But I'm just curious, kind of what shocked you when you realized I am physically a different person? Um, I'm really kind of curious to see. Um, and I'm also, I know a lot of you are way farther in your journey than me. Can you tell me in advance this time? Because, I mean, y'all are my friends, right? Tell me in advance. Tell me now what to expect when I get close to Wonderland. Because that is still just a far off dream. We're going to shoot for it. We know that's the end of the goal by the end of the year. 200 pounds and 200 subscribers. Which, we're at 148. Y'all are the best. Y'all are amazing. I love it. We're, we're already almost halfway to that goal. And it's January. Forget about it. Y'all are awesome. Boop, boop. Shout out to y'all. So, extreme weight loss, let me know what you think down below, and until next time, I'll see you real soon.